Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel Blade template and idea about component concept, right? So last we discussed about Laravel view and that time when you create any view, actually in the, like, the resource, inside the views, we have a view file and we can see here there is welcome.blade.php but actual name of the view file is welcome but we are using .blade.php as an extension right so this is the blade templating so today we'll discuss about the blade template and the component concept right now we need to understand why blade template blade is a powerful templating engine in a laravel framework right blade allows to use the templating engine easily and also its syntax is very easy so i will demonstrate each and every things so developer can use it easily right so it has its own structure such as loops or any conditional statement simply to create any blade file in laravel just go to the resource views and inside the view you can create any files right you can create any folders and inside the folders you can create also files inside the view folders whatever you will create with dot blade dot php basically this will treat as view file okay and the main advantage is we can create a master template and that can be extended from other files like if we have a dot html file there is a, like a header footer or something so here you can see there is a footer type things or you can say this is a, a laravel that is the header things and this is the main body content suppose if i want to write a, this section in a separate file and if i want to store these things in a separate files then you can do this with this blading system right so i already discussed about a blade file creation and how to call that file from the route or a controller today's video's main focus is to create a component with blade template right so to create a component simply just uh, create another tab and write php artisan make so to create anything so we need to use the make and after that colon and component okay and name the component suppose i want to create a header component right so just write in this way basically a component file will create with the class header right so component created successfully so where we will get this actually by entering these things two new files are created inside your laravel application so just go to here and you can see two things that is one is class file and another is view file so just go inside the app there is a views and inside the view you will get component folder and inside the component folder you will get a header.php actually this is the class file right and another thing is created that is the view file inside the resource and inside the views you will get a component folder and inside this component folder all the view will store when you create any components right so this is a header dot blade dot php currently there is no any things now i am going to create something inside these things right so simply if i just uh, write here um suppose write hello this is component header or this is header component okay this is header component and simply close the h1 tag and now i want to display these things here so if i refresh this i will not see anything but to display the component things simply you can see this is the welcome.blade.php last day we discussed about that things if you forgot you can directly check this so if you just go to the route section so first go to the routes and inside the routes you will get so where is the routes yes this is the route and this is web.php and you can see this is the slash this is the main url of your application and it's loading welcome so what is actually welcome welcome actually a blade file right welcome.blade.php now i want to render the header file into here or header class into here simply just uh, inside the body i just want to render 
so just right here inside in this way x header so this is the class name this is the header class name and we want to write in this way x header and simply close this okay this is the tag now in this position header blade files will appear means whatever we write inside the header blade it will concatenate or it will populate the data right so simply just go here and now refresh this you are getting hello this is header component right so what is the purpose of these things suppose in your website or your application you have a menu like a home contact us portfolio blogs whatever and you can create a header component and you can write all those things here and simply you can pass where you need this header right or not only header you can do anything suppose you are creating a carousel component and uh, just uh, paste all the carousel related things here and you can call this component this is the header component and you will create a carousel component and that component can be rendered anywhere using this right now this looks like static if i want to make it dynamic means how we can do this suppose i want to pass data to the component right so here this is the header and i want to pass some data into this class file and i want to render this from header.blade.php so this is a long process how you can do this simply it is not a long process suppose i want to pass a data with a name right so i just uh, am going to create a name this is the attribute you can write any attribute first you can write name or you can write phone number whatever right you can create anything and i am just passing name as a, a learning points okay and now if i just refresh you will not get anything because you have not using these things into here how you will catch this name from here or from the component simply just uh, inside the header.php and uh, just inside this class and just write here variable and i want to declare variable publicly so public and name so this should be same exactly what you are passing this name is actually referring this name right and just use inside the constructor so that you will get a name from anywhere from this application and just uh, write here this name equal to dollar name it is simply oops concept right so using this we are referring actually this current object and uh, the name we're getting from here and it's accepting and now these are available inside this header class now we can get access of these things inside the header.blade.php also simply just uh, go here and write name is um, dollar name okay and just uh, close the is to tag okay now just go to the browser and let's refresh name is learning points basically these things are coming from name right so in this way we can pass data to the uh, component and we can print from the header now if i want to pass data to component from the controller then how you can do this so let's create a controller first so let's create php artisan make this is the common and then controller suppose i'm going to create a student controller right student controller okay now controller created so if you just uh, go to the directory inside the app http controllers you will get the student controller okay now i want to create a function and i want to pass some data to the welcome.blade.php is the view file and we will use that thing inside the header component right so simply uh, let's create a function uh, public function suppose uh, anything like index okay this is a common function base functions and let's create a variable uh, like uh, suppose and pass data okay and here simply write student data now i want to call this welcome.blade.php from inside here 
so simply write return and view and let's use welcome and semicolon right now if i just refresh this we are getting the same things no problem and i want to pass this data to the header now simply just write compact c o m p s e t compact and inside here just pass sorry uh, data so now data is available inside the welcome.blade.php so to call these functions first we need to create a uh, routes inside the our routes so just go to the web.php and let's register this route first so just copy the namespace and simply write use app http controllers slash controller right student controller okay and simply just create uh, route get and suppose student and then the controller name that is the student controller cron cron class and the function name that is index okay now if i just go into this link so here simply write student you will get the same things as we are calling the student controller now we can access data from this link so just go here and simply write dollar data so if you just refresh this we are getting student data but i don't want to print this data from here i want to pass this data to the header component right how we can we do this so simply as we are getting this data from here now let's create another so simply use colon and write data and pass data okay so not data it will be dollar data as a variable we are getting okay now if i just uh, go here and in the same way just write public and dollar data and simply pass these things also to the constructor so that we can access so comma dollar data and here also write this data equal to dollar data okay now if i just going to access into the header.blade.php now we can access so simply create h2 tag and student data equal to dollar uh, sorry colon curly braces data okay and simply write h2 now if i refresh this we will get these things undefined variable data why um, i think there is a variable declaration problem so i think uh, there is a problem suppose i am just going to change data to and uh, just write here data to and let's print this data to then if i just refresh this we are getting student data means from the controller we are uh, passing this data to the welcome.blade.php there's the view file and from the view file we are passing this to the header component and from the header component we are getting inside the header blade.php not only uh, the simple variable if i just want to pass suppose uh, array suppose student array or students like so if i just create array and here just to write some name that is john david and let's mike three name and just first this data and just comma students and we will get these students from welcome.blade.php and i am just passing this data uh, suppose colon students equal uh, dollar students okay and let's in the same way let's write public uh, dollar students or student no problem and we are getting dollar students here and simply just write this student equal to dollar students okay 
and now if I just want to print this thing simply we can write uh, using for each loop as we are getting the array so simply write for each dollar student or student or students student okay we will access the student as stu okay no problem and simply close the for each and for each and simply print that inside the li okay simply li and print dollar stu okay and let's refresh this again and we can see john david mike so we are passing the array also so this is all about the blade template and the component concept so hope you like this video actually these are the very useful components when you uh, build your application structure suppose you are going to create any application or laravel application that time first you need to create the structure that time you can uh, create this component and sometime if you need in the middle of your application you can uh, create that and the use of that thing is sometimes if i need some uh, common things and uh, those we need in many places we can simply just create a component and we can render these things anywhere right so this will be very easy right so hope you will like this video and next day we are going to discuss about uh, the database concept right we will connect with the mysql database and we will uh, insert some data and we will fetch that record so Please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.